I'm Anil Kumar and here is a pattern rule for skipped numbers. The question here is write pattern rule for the following. We are given input and output. Input is 50, output is 20, for 55 it is 22, for 60 it is 24 and for 65 it is 26. And let's say this pattern continues. We need to write a rule which will connect input with output. Let me first thank my subscriber for sharing this question and I hope its solution will help many others. Now the unique part here you will notice is that inputs are not consecutive numbers. We are kind of skipping few numbers. Let us see how the input goes. Input is increasing by 5, right? So 50, 55, we increased by 5 each time. You see that? And the output increases by the same amount, which is plus 2. So they are both increasing by same amounts, maybe different numbers. Input is increasing by 5, and the output is increasing by 2. Now the question is, how are they related? And how do we find this relation? So the next number, which should be 70 for input, for that, if we go with this pattern, it should be 2 more than 26, so we expect an output of 28 for input of 70. How do we get it? Well, the answer is, like we did for most of our videos on input and output, we see the pattern which relates input and output. Now, since output is increasing by 2, for every increase of 5 in the input, the number of our interest is 2 divided by 5. That relates these two things. How do we find it? By comparing the two increases. Now, let's get back to this statement. Since input is, let me write it down. Since output is increasing by 2 for every 5 increase and in input. Since output is increasing by 2 for every 5 increase in input, the ratio 2 over 5 connects them. So, some way or the other, we are not saying exactly, but some way or the other, this ratio 2 over 5 connects them. Now, let's try to see what happens when we multiply 50 by 20, right? So, let's test it out. What happens? So, if I do 50 times 2 divide by 5 then what do we get we could divide 50 by 5 first right so if we do that we get 10 10 times 2 is 20 right so we get 20 so it works right so what we notice here is that if we divide 50 by 5 and then multiply by 2 or when we multiply 50 by 2 and divide by 5 we get the required output we can test for others also if I do 55 times 2 over 5 do I get 22 yes I do right so we do get the pattern so for 70 we could divide by 5 and then multiply by 2 right so we will get 28 right so you can test it out it works so in most cases this kind of a idea of taking a number which relates them works sometimes directly as we had in this example now we'll take another example this time i'll change the numbers a bit so i'm saying input output now for each input i'll keep them same which is skipped by five these are easy numbers to work with and that's the reason why 
I'm continuing with the same examples, excellent example, but I'm changing the output. Instead of writing 20 for 50, let me write the number 21, okay? So for 50, let's say we get 21. For 55, we want to still increase by the same amount, right? So we'll do increase by two, for just for easy calculations. Let's say we get 23 here. And for 60, we get 25. For 65, increase by 2 will give us 27, and so on. Now the question is, how will you write a rule for this one? Well, here, input is increasing by 5, as in the previous case, right? The output is increasing by 2. So we know that in the rule, the factor... 2 over 5 plays an important role. But when you do 50 times 2 over 5, what do you get? We calculate. We get 20, not 21. So, what should we do? So, basically, in such cases, when that does not work directly, you know how it will work. You have to add 1 to get 21, right? So, if you add 1, you do get 21. So, the rule is, in this case, times 2 over 5 <coughs> plus 1. So in this case, the rule will become, we'll write down the rule here, input times 2 over 5, right, plus 1, right. So in input-output machine, the rule will be times 2 over 5 plus 1. So if you apply that rule here, you'll get your outputs, right. I hope that helps. But a common thing here is the ratio, 2 over 5, which we get from this concept. We have to see for how much increase in input, there is an increase in output. So the ratio of increase in output over increase in input, this number plays an important role to find the rule. I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos to learn. Thank you and all the best.